Is it the right time to make a decision on Lucid stock? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into Lucid. We previously released an initial report on our website on Monday, November 6, 2023, and now we're back to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and enable notifications to stay updated on our latest analyses. You wouldn't want to miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 global companies today. Please note that this video is only intended for informational purposes and should not be taken as financial advice. Starting from November 6, 2023, our system has identified Lucid as a sell candidate, giving it a score of negative 3.75. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. We have been closely monitoring this evaluation and will continue to do so in the coming days. The stock is currently in a downward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decline. Based on the current three-month trend, there is a projected minus 36.20% change over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from minus 44.00% to minus 31.18%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 37.34% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging from minus 43.23% to 27.43%. This indicates a price range of $2.45 to $5.50 after 12 months. In this update, we'll be discussing the recent movements in Lucid stock price. On Monday, the stock experienced a 6.49% decrease, dropping from $4.62 to $4.32. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 10.82%, hitting a low of $4.25 and a high of $4.71. Over the past 10 days, the stock has fallen in 6 of them, resulting in a total decrease of 0.46%. Interestingly, the volume of shares traded also decreased, which is generally a positive sign as it should follow the stock's movement. Specifically, the trading volume decreased by 6 million shares on the last day, with a total of 25 million shares being bought and sold for approximately $106.89 million. Let's take a look at the stock's performance over the past 52 weeks. The highest price recorded during this period was $17.81, while the lowest price was $3.96. Currently, the stock is 75.74% below its 52-week high, which translates to a difference of $13.49. Additionally, it is 93.34% below its all-time high of $64.86, which was reached on February 18, 2021. Analyst Ratings On Friday, September 8, 2023, RBC Capital gave LCID a sector perform grade with an initialize action. On Tuesday, August 8, 2023, Needham gave LCID a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, May 9, 2023, Bank of America Securities gave LCID a neutral grade with a hold action. On Thursday, February 23, 2023, Loop Capital Markets gave LCID a buy grade with an initialize action. On Thursday, February 23, 2023, Needham gave LCID a buy grade with an initialize action. Analysts have given Lucid Stock a general rating of buy. They strongly recommend the PE ratio and price to book both of which are rated as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. In this video, we'll discuss the signals identified for Lucid stock. Let's start with the buy signal issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, October 27, 2023. Since then, the stock has risen by 6.93%. This indicates a potential for further rise until a new top pivot is found. However, some negative signals have also been issued, which could influence the stock's short-term development. Currently, the short-term moving average suggests a buy signal for lucid stock. 
However, the long-term average gives a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average, the overall forecast for the stock is more negative. If the stock continues to gain, it will face resistance from the long-term moving average at $4.89. On the other hand, if the stock falls, it will find support from the short-term average at $4.25. A breakup through the long-term average would give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average would add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Additionally, there is a current sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. It's worth noting that the volume fell along with the price during the last trading day, which reduces the overall risk. Typically, volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. One signal to pay attention to is the moving average convergence divergence, which indicates a sell signal. Another signal to consider is the pivots, which gave a buy signal 7 days ago. The Bollinger indicator also provided a buy signal 13 days ago. The short-term moving average suggests a buy signal 4 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average showed a sell signal 63 days ago. Additionally, the relation between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 64 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average indicated a buy signal 3 days ago. However, the long-term moving average showed a sell signal 70 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages suggested a buy signal 172 days ago. Remember to visit stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Lucid Motors. Lucid Motors currently finds support from accumulated volume at $4.28. This level presents a potential buying opportunity, as we can expect an upward reaction when the support is tested. However, it's important to note that this stock is considered high risk due to its volatility. The Bollinger Band indicates a large prediction interval. In the past day, Lucid Motors had a price movement of $0.460 between its high and low, which accounts for a 10.82% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 7.46%. Before we explore the potential trading levels for Lucid, let's begin by discussing some essential fundamental data. Firstly, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, often referred to as the P-E ratio. This critical metric compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company has negative earnings or is currently experiencing financial losses. It's important to note that even well-established companies can face downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may indicate insufficient profitability and potential risks of bankruptcy. Moving on, let's discuss some recent news. The upcoming earnings report for Lucid's third quarter of 2023 is expected to be released on November 6, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $0.310. It's worth keeping a close eye on these numbers, as they can have a significant impact on the stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing some important day trading levels for Lucid. If Lucid's price starts moving upwards, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $4.34. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for the price to surpass this level before considering a position. However, if you already hold the stock, this could be a potential level to consider for swing trading. On the other hand, if Lucid's price starts declining, it will encounter its first support level at $4.28. If this support level holds, it could potentially present a good entry point with the expectation of a rebound. The consensus rating for Lucid, according to multiple analyst sources, is buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On September 14, 2023, Bell Michael sold 46,735 shares of Class A common stock. On September 10, 2023, House Sherry and bought 408,663 shares of Class A common stock. On September 10, 2023, House Sherry and sold 26,742 shares of Class A common stock. On September 10, 2023, 
House Sherry and bought 408,663 shares of employee stock option, right to buy. On September 10, 2023, Dean Gagan bought 113,517 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 90.691. Overall, insiders have purchased 361,313,675 shares and sold 6,683,662 shares in the last 100 trades. Our evaluation for this stock is negative and we have not set a stop loss. Is Lucid stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, Lucid currently holds several negative signals and we anticipate weak performance in the upcoming days or weeks. As a result, we have a negative evaluation of this stock. Additionally, we have downgraded our analysis conclusion from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture. Upon analyzing the recent volatility and movements in the market, our systems have identified that the current price of Lucid is undervalued. When trading resumes on Tuesday, November 7, we expect Lucid to open up at $4.43, representing a $0.107 increase. Before we dive into today's content, it's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Always consult a qualified financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Stockinvest.us should not be your sole basis for investment choices. By using the information provided, you acknowledge and assume responsibility for your own investment decisions. We'd love to hear your thoughts on our current view of the stock. Please share your opinion in the comments below. What's your target for this stock? Remember to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Wishing you successful trading and a beautiful day from all of us here at Stockinvest.